Those considering higher education or currently taking classes already know that the higher part of that education is usually the tuition bill. Wouldn't it be nice to focus on studies rather than worrying about how you're going to pay for it all? Well, Consumers Credit Union can help with their Consumer Scholars Program. And joining us to share more about it, we've got the Senior Business Development Representative and co-leader of the Consumer Scholarships Program, Caitlin Huntington. Hi, Caitlin. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for being here. And Scott Dobson, who's a Consumers at Work Manager. Hey, Scott. Good morning. Thanks for being here, guys. Let's just start with the very basic. What is a Consumers Scholar? What is that? It's, it's actually a scholarship program we've been doing every year for, for more than a decade. And what we do is we give away one $10,000 scholarship and then 10 $1,000 scholarships. So super easy to apply and uh, we give it out uh, later this spring. And you say you've been doing this for years. Obviously, you guys are known for giving back and pouring into the communities that you serve. How does one apply for this? Uh, are there limitations in state, out of state? All I'm sure there are there are a few things that people need to check before they can apply. Yes. So any Michigan high school senior is eligible. So okay. all the way up north to, from Marquette, all the way east to Detroit, and especially in our community here in Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo, um, any Michigan high school senior can apply. The requirements are minimal. So we we require a 2.5 GPA. We need a high school transcript, a letter of recommendation, okay. a essay, it's a 300 word essay. The question of the year is if you had a one way ticket to anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? That's what the essay is this year? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. you can go anywhere, one way ticket. Yes. One way ticket. Not a return to a trip, but one way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting concept. Yeah. I like that. So I'm sure, is there a deadline or a time for this to happen again? Yeah, for sure. March 4th is the last day that you can apply. Okay. Um, you can apply online. You can stop into any one of our offices. We have a cool QR code. You can snap with your phone to apply. <laughs> um, super easy to do. Uh, you don't have to be a member to apply. So anyone that lives in Michigan can apply for it. So if you have a niece or a nephew or a grandson, it's a great way to uh, really apply for a scholarship really easily. Like, like Caitlin said, 2.5 grade point average um, and involvement in the community. So if you work in the community, if you volunteer in the community, um, that, that helps with our selection process as well. Well, of course, yeah, the more that you're giving back, obviously. So you've been doing this, as you mentioned, for years. Mm -hmm. So what's this impact been? I'm sure you've gotten some feedback from this. We, yes, we have. So we, over the last 10 years, we've given over $200,000 to Michigan high school seniors. Wow. Uh, for their education, which not only includes college and universities, but also trade schools. So if you are looking to apply for a trade school, that will also That's a be really important point, Kaylin, because a lot of times when you hear the word scholarship, you're thinking of the community college, you're thinking of the four year traditional schools, but this, is, this applies to trade schools as well. Correct, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Our goal is to uh, help our community, and that's certainly people in trade schools as well as four universities or two universities uh, are helping with our community, and that's our real goal at the scholarship program is to make our community stronger better educated and uh, more financially sound for the future. Absolutely, yeah, it's all part of that choice map. Right? You're yeah. mapping out your future, that's I'm sure higher education has got to be included in that, especially with the costs going up yes. yeah. as so much as they are. So for you to be able to say, hey, how about $10,000 towards your tuition? What a godsend that would be for so many families. So again, March 4th. March 4th that is, is the deadline. deadline to get this done. And where do we go? I'm assuming we're going right to the website. You can yep. directly to our website. Um, we have a checklist there to make it very easy to get what you need there. Um, there's a cool QR code where you get to all of our application process. So, mm -hmm. yep, you can do it online. Easy process. Get it done by March 4th, and you're ready to go. I think we have some uh, some pretty stunned faces happening right here. It looks like we're getting some footage of somebody who just yeah. got one of those big checks for themselves. Yeah, always awesome to win $10,000 <laughs> uh, right, right here in West Michigan. So we, we feel great being able to do it, and we've really been able to help some, some students here in our community further their education. Well, Kate and Scott, thank you so much for what you're doing and for telling us more about the Consumer Scholars Program. If you have a high school senior, boy, now is the time to do it. Scholarship applications being accepted until, as you heard, March 4th. Go to consumerscu.org for more. We'll be right